Yelzaveta Malanina is 84. For 45 years, she has been coming to the Babi Yar Memorial in Kiev annually to commemorate the people tortured by the Nazi forces. She herself was a prisoner at the Kimenitz concentration camp, but miraculously managed to survive. Her mother, however, never came back. Yelizaveta wrote poems in her memory. Diseases do not leave us. I'm writing poems while lying on the bed. I cannot wait till I become an adult, but I'm still only in third grade. Anna Strushkova says she was lucky. Only one in ten children returned from the Nazi camps, and she was among them. Anna was taken to Auschwitz-Birkenau on December the 4th, 1943. It was discovered through the archive documents of the Camp Museum. Unfortunately, I don't know my nationality, just like I don't know my real date of birth. I have three of them. The one when we were liberated by the army, January 27, 1945. Thanks to it, I survived. And the one my adoptive parents gave me, May 1st. This all was substituted with the number on my arm, 69929. It was a substitute for everything for the Germans. In Soviet times, prisoners of Nazi concentration camps were seen as traitors and enemies. The situation changed only in the 1980s. In 1988, young prisoners of concentration camps gathered in Kiev for the first time. It was allowed. There were 800 people from the entire Soviet Union. In 2005, a monument in memory of concentration camp prisoners was opened at the Babi Yar Ravine in Kiev, where one of the Nazi camps was situated. Since then, people gathered here every year on April the 11th to commemorate the victims. In March 1945, an armed uprising took place in Buchenwald, the largest Nazi camp. On April the 11th, American forces entered it and liberated all the prisoners. Overall, there were 14,000 concentration camps operating during World War II. They held 18 million prisoners, 11 million of whom were killed. 30,000 people died in the Kiev concentration camp near Babi Yar. We we believe that our motto should be remember the dead but take care of the living.